Welcome to AutoCAD 2011 series of tutorials uh, brought to you by caddies.com. In this set of tutorials, we're going to cover AutoCAD 2011, starting with the very basics. So if you're new to AutoCAD, then this is a great series of tutorials for you. If you're a user that you haven't used AutoCAD in a while, uh, again, this would be a great series for you uh, to use to get caught up on. Let's go ahead and, and get started and talk a little bit about AutoCAD. When you first start AutoCAD, you'll Obviously, you'll get the welcome screen. That's been around in AutoCAD for uh, a long time. I'm just going to click on this X right here up at the top right-hand corner and close that. And you'll notice as I go through these tutorials, my cursor is highlighted uh, with a little yellow circle. That's just to help you kind of keep up with where I'm, I'm moving the mouse around. And uh, whenever I click, you'll notice a right, uh, excuse me, you'll notice a red circle uh, highlighting the click whenever I click. And when I right-click, um, you'll notice a blue circle, okay? So a red circle for when I click, and then a, a right click is going to be a blue circle, but I'll let you know when I right click, just so you have a better idea of, of what's going on there. I'll try to keep that real clear. Well, let's talk about the AutoCAD interface, so just kind of walk through it real quick. Up here in the very top left-hand corner, you're going to have your application button, and if you pull that down, or if you click on that, it's going to allow you to, you know, start a new drawing or open a drawing and and you've seen all of these buttons in you know pretty much any Microsoft uh, type of an application or Windows type application um, and it's going to be real real similar um, and click off of that here we have our workspace uh, mode and this is where we can choose the workspace that we want to work in whether it be 2d or 3d or or whatever we'll get into that later on uh, this area right here is our quick access toolbar this allows us to, you know, put a, you can put whatever buttons up here that you want, but this is, you know, start a new drawing or open a drawing, save a drawing or save as. There's your undo and your redo if we had, if we needed, needed it, uh, print, so on and so forth. And your title bar, of course, is going to tell you what drawing or the name of the drawing is that you have open right now. This is your information center. It allows you to do some searches and things for, uh, help topics. If you needed needed help with a particular topic, you can do search in there. Of course, you minimize um, your Windows buttons. This is very standard in, in, like I said, Windows applications. If you had multiple drawings open at one time, you'll see also these minimize and, and restore buttons and close buttons. Uh, this is for each drawing. So each drawing that you have open will have these buttons. These up here, of course, are for the application itself. Uh, this is your view cube. This is going to allow you to to change views very quickly. Very, very helpful if you're doing 3D. In more of a 2D space, this allows you to pan around your drawing and zoom in and zoom out real quickly. And we'll get into get into this a little bit more later. This is called the navigation bar. Uh, down at the very bottom, uh, you'll see these two lines and these lines of text. And this is very uh, traditional AutoCAD. And, and uh, these are your command. This is called your command line. And this will allow you. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull this up a little bit. I'm going to let you see three lines. I like to see three lines. Back when AutoCAD was first developed, uh, pretty much everything was done before we had these buttons uh, that Windows has allowed us to have. Pretty much all of your commands were entered right here at the command line. So if you wanted to draw a line or, or erase a line or move a line or whatever you were doing, you would type the command in right here and hit enter, and then that would execute the command. And AutoCAD has left this here for a number of reasons, but uh, that's what that is right there. We're going to get into the command line a little bit more in just a minute. Right here, this, this allows you to quickly tab between model space and paper space, or model space and your different layouts, and we'll get into that uh, in just a little bit as, as well. Your UCS icon, that's what this is right here. Um, down at the very bottom is your status bar. This is going to give you actually these three numbers right here. Notice as I move my cursor around the screen, these three numbers down here uh, on the status bar change. This is going to give you or show you the actual, the, or the actual coordinates of your cursor in AutoCAD's three-dimensional world. Notice the X and the Y are changing, but the Z is not changing. It stays at zero. That's because I'm just moving around the X and Y plane within the 3D space. But we'll get into the UCS and how all that works a little bit later. Down here, um, here's some quick toggles. Uh, for doing things like setting up your, your object snap and turn it, turning on and off your dynamic input and so on and so forth. Down here, you've got a, a button as well to quickly switch between model space and paper space. 
and some other item, action items down here that, that we'll get into later. And up here, uh, you have your ribbon. And this is very usual now for Windows applications to have these type of, of ribbons as opposed to basic toolbars that we used to have. There's a, a, a draw portion here where you get into all your, your draw commands, um, your modify commands, the layer commands, annotation blocks, and so on and so forth. And then, of course, when you hit these uh, tabs up here, then that switches between uh, these different ribbons, um, your parametric ribbon and your view, uh, manage, um, and you can read those there. And we'll, we'll talk about every one as we get through uh, these tutorials, and you'll definitely have a much better understanding how all this works. Well, let's jump right in and, uh, and let's start talking about how we enter information or how we, how we use AutoCAD or draw in AutoCAD. There's a, a couple of different ways that, that you can tell AutoCAD what you want to do. Now, AutoCAD has thousands of commands, everything from drawing a basic line to drawing a, a basic circle to inserting blocks, creating arrays, um, many, many different commands in AutoCAD, and it's been developed for years and years and years. But the way that we enter commands in AutoCAD, as I said before, it used to be through the command line. So on the command line, I would type in something like line. Well, let me turn off my dynamic input so that you can have a better idea here. So I'm going to go to my command line, I'm going to type in the word line, and I'm going to hit enter. And this is the way it used to be in AutoCAD, and there's a reason why I'm, I'm explaining this. Um, it'll give you better understanding how all this works, but I'm going to type in line and I'm going to hit the enter key on my keyboard and that's going to start the line command and of course AutoCAD is going to tell me, okay, where do I want to start my first point? So I'm going to pick a point on my screen and then watching down here on the command line, it's going to say specify uh, the next point. So it's going to tell, ask me, okay, where do you want the next point to go? And I'm going to hit right there, or I'm going to click there and I'm just going to hit enter to end that command. And notice it goes back to a blank command prompt. Now, as you're learning AutoCAD, it's very important to keep your eye um, down on this command line because a lot of times people will get caught up in a command, let's say such as line, and they're drawing, and uh, they're trying. then they start to do another command, and they try to do something else, and they can't understand why AutoCAD doesn't understand what they're asking for. Well, if you ever get into that situation, look down here at your command line and see what it's asking for because it'll tell you, you know, right now it's telling me, this bottom line is telling me, hey, AutoCAD is asking me for the next point. And I'm like, well, that's not exactly what I meant to be in. So what we can do in AutoCAD is whenever we get into a situation like that, you can always just hit your escape key on your keyboard. Now, I always train people when I was training people was, was to whenever you hit that escape key to get out of a command, hit it a couple of times, just get, in, get into the habit of hitting that escape key uh, two or three times with your finger. Um, what that'll do is that'll ensure that you're actually out of the command because sometimes in AutoCAD, you're actually in, in a different, you know, let's say you start a command, you might be at, at, at a certain level within that command. If you hit escape a couple of times, it ensures that you're completely out of the command and you're back to a blank command prompt, which AutoCAD is saying, okay, I'm ready for the next command. So get in that habit of hitting escape a few times, and that'll, that'll make sure, that will ensure that you are uh, no longer in any command, and, and AutoCAD is ready uh, for the next command. So the, the command line, that's one, one place where we can enter commands. Um, the other place, of course, is up here on our ribbon um, by just selecting or choosing the button uh, that we that we want for the command, such as you know drawing a, a line, I can just click on that line button, and of course start my commit or start my line. Um, when I click on the line command, notice it does just like um, it would if I actually typed in the word line on my command line. So your ribbon is going to give you your inputs or your commands as well. Um, many most of the AutoCAD commands and definitely most that you're going to be using on a daily basis are going to be found uh, within these within these ribbons okay um, another way that you can enter commands in AutoCAD um, is through command aliases is what they're called a command alias so instead of me having to type in the word line okay when I want to draw a line I can simply hit the L on my keyboard and hit enter Okay, that's going to start the line command as well. It's, a, it's an alias for the line command. 
Now, a lot of people um, just use these buttons on these ribbons, and that's fine. Uh, there's, there's not a problem with that. But really, the way to be efficient, or the most efficient with AutoCAD, is, is to sort of learn how to be uh, ambidextrous, so to speak. Um, what I do is I leave my left hand on the keyboard all, at all times. My hand is always on, my left hand is always on the keyboard, and my right hand, of course, is on my mouse. So that way, whenever I want to start the line command, I don't have to go look for the line. I can keep my eyes on my drawing or whatever I'm drawing, and without even having to look at my keyboard, I can just hit the L on my keyboard and either hit Enter, and that's going to start my line command, or a nice little trick that AutoCAD has is I can hit L and then hit the space bar with my thumb. So if you arrange your hand on your keyboard such that you know, your fingers, of course, are on the keys, but your thumb is over your space bar. Um, and, of course, your hand, your other hand is on your mouse at all times. You can become very, very efficient in AutoCAD. And, and um, doing this and practicing this, you can, you can work through AutoCAD commands in AutoCAD much, much quicker than having to go up here and select buttons and switch ribbons every single time you want to select a command. So command aliases combined with using uh, one hand on the keyboard and one hand on the mouse and using your thumb um, on the space bar uh, works very, very well and very, very efficient um, in, in AutoCAD. Uh, another thing that you can do is down here uh, on your status bar, there's, a, there's an option here for dynamic input. Now, you probably can't see the little tooltip pop up when I move my cursor over there, but turning on dynamic input Basically what it does is it moves my command line up here to my cursor. So if I have a blank command prompt, AutoCAD is ready for a command. If I go to my command alias for line and I hit L and hit enter, notice right here on my command, or excuse me, on my screen within my drawing, a little window pops up. It's kind of like a, a little snapshot of my command line. So instead of having to look down here, it's right up here where my eyes are already focused. And you can see I just typed in the L. So now I hit enter or space bar. And then it's bringing my command line right up here to where my cursor is once again. Notice it's asking specify first point. So I can pick right here. And then now, of course, it's asking specify next point. Okay, you can see right here by my cursor. Or right here by my crosshairs, I guess I should say. So that um, dy that's called dynamic input. And that's... That's a really nice feature. It's taken me a while to get used to because I'm always used to just kind of poking my eyes down here in my command line to see where I'm at. But once you get used to it, it's really nice to be able to just use your commands right here on your screen where you're already looking uh, so that you don't have to go back down to the command line every time. Uh, you don't have to refocus your eyes. So that's nice. That's nice as well. A couple of quick things before we end this tutorial. Um, the command aliases that I was talking to, uh, if you want to edit those and you don't want to use L for starting a line, you want to use something else, um, you can edit those command aliases very, very easily. Oops, I switched this up on you, didn't I? If you go over here to your ribbon and you click on Manage, um, you can go down here to, to Edit Aliases, click on that, and it's going to bring up a text window. And what this is, is this is a, this is just brings up Notepad, just a simple text editor of the autocad.pgp file, which is where your command aliases are located. If you scroll down here, you can see uh, the command alias, comma, and then what the command actually is. So if you wanted to go through, and you know, as you get more experience and you wanted to edit your commands and your command aliases, here's the one for line, uh, you could just edit this command, uh, this, this uh, text file, this autocad.pgp. And one last thing, um, on your ribbons, as you move around, if you wanted to pull one of these ribbons off, um, you can just grab it and drag it and drop it onto your screen. If you're going to be working with layers for a while or if you're going to be working with modifier for a while, you can do that. And if you ever want it to go back, if you just click on this button right here, it says return panels to the ribbon, click on that, and it'll put that ribbon uh, bar right back where it was or where it started. Well, that's all for this tutorial. Um, in the next set of tutorials, we'll get into some basic AutoCAD commands, and we'll move along. Thanks so much for joining us, and uh, hope to see you in the next tutorial.